And what's up, you guys? It's your boy, SF Barry, a sports talk. And the New York Mets fans were treated to a Christmas special this holiday season as the New York Mets have signed Dylan Betances to a one-year contract. Now, I absolutely love this move if you are a New York Mets fan. One of the biggest weaknesses for the Mets in 2019 was, in fact, their bullpen. In a season that you can argue the Mets exceeded expectations as they went 86-76 and 76 last year, they almost made a playoff spot, and what they did so well is they developed their lineup. They have a really dangerous lineup that includes that includes incredible rookie sensation Pete Alonzo from last year. They got Jeff McNeil. Of course, the Mets have a formidable starting rotation. And you can argue that the bullpen is maybe the one ingredient that if they are able to solve, they can c contend for a World Series championship. Now, one of the biggest things that I love about Dylan Betances is that his ability to be able to pitch in some of the biggest games and, of course, playoff games during his time with the Yankees. And as evidence from his ability to be able to handle those high leverage situations, if we look at the last several seasons, he has been holding opponents to an absolute amazing opponent's batting average of 153. Now, Dylan Betances also, guys, incredibly, in his career, he the last several seasons, the opponent's exit velocity, of course, when they're making contact off Dylan Betances, he has an incredibly, the third lowest, 84.6 percentage exit velocity coming off the bat. So what that tells you guys is that big league hitters are not getting solid contact against Betances, and the other thing that you love about Dylan Betances is he has incredible strikeout stuff. In his career, he has been averaging an astounding 14.6 strikeouts per nine innings. And from 2014 through 2018, Dylan Betances accumulated 100 or more strikeouts. And he led the league in strikeouts from 2014 through 2016. Now, Dylan Betances is going to be added to a New York Mets bullpen that is starting to look very formidable. He's going to be added to a bullpen that features Jaris Familia, who we know has been an amazing closer in his career. We, of course, have Edwin Diaz in the bullpen there, and we have a great pitcher, Seth Lugo. So the Mets are starting to form together some great pitchers, possibly. And really what it's going to come down to is if each pitcher in the bullpen can pitch to their capabilities, then, I mean, the ceiling is the limit for how successful this team could be. And it is going to be so much fun and exciting to see them wreak havoc out there in the National League East. Now, Dylan Batanz is a four-time All-Star. He did, however, suffer some injury setbacks last season. He had a shoulder problem, and he also was dealing with an Achilles injury. But nevertheless, guys, that doesn't take away from the fact that when healthy, Dylan Betances is arguably one of the best relievers in all of baseball. Now, if you look at his career stats, I mean, they are absolutely mind-boggling. He has pitched with a career 2.36 earned run average in 381 innings pitched where he has had experience as a closer, accumulating 36 saves. He has 621 strikeouts in 358 games during his time with the Yankees. So this move for the Mets, of course, they are definitely going to be confident going into next season, and they are going to be a very fun team to watch. I think they are definitely going to be contending for the National League East Division crown. Now, also, guys, like I was mentioning earlier, the Mets, we know what the lineup has the potential to do, and they're only going to get better. Now, I want to mention some of the names that the Mets have, of course, in their starting rotation. So you look at the rotation, I mean, they got Marcus Stroman, they have Jacob deGrom, Noah Senegard, Steven Matz, and Rick Porcello. So it is not a bad-looking rotation. And when you have many different aspects of your team, at whether it could be average strength or above average, you're going to have the potential to win a lot of baseball games. And so I think the Mets are definitely going to be in a lot of games this season. And, you know, it's also going to be nice, of course, to probably not have a lot of games get blown out from the bullpen. So 
Dylan Betance is he will definitely be able to come in and save the Mets in a lot of games and not only that again the confidence you're gonna love to put him in those spots and it's gonna be so exciting to see and so guys I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you made it all the way through to the end of this video then be sure to smash up that thumbs up button and smash that subscriber button and smash the bell button if you have not done so already if you would like to be notified when brand new Major League Baseball breaking news occurs. We'll be coming to your way, guys, with all the latest free agent signings, trades, everything happening around the game of baseball. And let me know, guys, down in the comment section. I would love to hear your perspective. New York Mets fans out there, how excited are you for next season? And what are your thoughts on the signing of Dylan Betances? I would love to get an insight into your guys' mindset and perspective and hear how excited you guys are. I also would like to take this time now to thank all of you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys so much, and I absolutely would not be here without all of you. So thank you so much for commenting, and I love to read your guys' comments. So let me know, and as always, guys, until next time, I will see you guys again. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.